guys, so today we're gonna be propagating this plant. It's a Sansevieria cylindrica, a type of snake plant. It kind of has these rounder leaves. I almost took out the camera there. It has these rounder leaves that are really fun. I was just repotting this guy and I accidentally broke off one of these really young pups. And so you look like a strong young pup. That was kind of growing out. And so I decided to learn how to propagate it. And I hope it's helpful. If it is, consider giving it a thumbs up so that other people can find it and use this information as well. Oh my gosh. Crap. Well. Here's a closer look at that snake plant piece after that fateful moment. I decided to make the most of it, obviously. I made a clean cut with a clean knife, as you can see right here. You can also make multiple cuts. This guy died of uh, root rot just a few days ago, so I decided to cut him up and propagate him to make the most of that. And so you can make cuts about three inches apart. Just make sure that you remember which way is up for the plant and which way is down because you do not want to be flipping them upside down and expecting them to grow that way. So next I grab my rooting powder. I'll include a link in the description for the one I'm using right here. But basically I just dumped a tiny bit out into a clean dish. That way I can, oh and I made a big cloud, yeah. But this way you can just dip your cutting in without using too much or contaminating your whole jar. And with these ones, I just made sure to put the rooting powder on the bottom side of these cuttings so that they will grow in the right orientation. You don't need a whole lot. You can just tap off the excess if you have any. And the rooting powder isn't necessary, but it can just help your chances of roots appearing. Next step is to get some soil and gracefully put it in a container just like I did. But you're gonna put your cutting into this. Snake plants are succulent, so they do appreciate a well-draining soil. Just keep that in mind when you are looking for soil for your snake plant. After that, go ahead and give it a good drink of water and fully saturate the soil. Now as you can see, I started with this one cutting I accidentally broke off, and after looking at it, I realized it looked absolutely ridiculous, just this one thing sticking out. So I got some more cuttings, one of it kind of came with some roots, which is totally fine. That will actually probably help this snake plant end up growing better, and I'm more happy with how it looks having three instead of just one. So here are the results just after two months. I very gently felt if there was any resistance when I was pulling on these. There wasn't much and you'll see why. So I gently pulled it out, checked to see if there were any roots. There was this very, very small one that I will highlight in just a second. And this is normal because it takes about six to nine months for roots to appear and for the plant really to start growing. So I'm just gonna be patient and wait longer, see what happens. Generally, I would not recommend pulling out your cuttings to see if there are roots, because this could damage the roots. I am simply doing it just for this video to show you guys. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing. I'm always trying to come out with content for houseplant owners like yourself. And thank you guys for watching.